Tonight we are learning new details about the moments before this Jeep sped through a crowd of protesters marching on a highway in Aurora last night. Aurora police say they saw it happen from Sky 9's camera. The people marching were protesting the death of Elijah McLean when the driver of that Jeep drove into the crowd. And as this happened, police and protesters say somebody in that crowd pulled a gun and started shooting. Gunfire hit two people. They are both expected to be okay. Tonight, Aurora police shared these pictures of a man they call a person of interest in that shooting, and they're asking anybody with information about him to call Metro Denver Crime Stoppers. As for the driver of the Jeep, Aurora police say they know who he is. Police say that driver got off the highway and went to officers who were investigating another crash. Police said they talked to him and took his car in as evidence, but they have not arrested him. Officers say the driver of that Jeep told them that protesters were surrounding his car and he said he drove toward the crowd because he was scared and trying to get away. Police said the driver of that Jeep also claims he was hit by a white pickup truck during this incident yesterday. But protesters who were recording as the Jeep sped through say it's the other way around. They say the driver of the pickup truck actually saved them by getting in front of the Jeep and ultimately slowing it down. Nine News reporter Jordan Chavez spoke with the driver of that pickup truck and a couple of women who say that he is the reason people had time to get out of the way. Cell phone footage from the ground shows the Jeep speeding away moments after protesters say it crashed with this white truck. And that truck was trying to save lives. Carrie and Julie recorded this video. They asked us not to share their last names publicly out of fear for their safety. They say the Jeep would have been going much faster if that truck and a couple other vehicles didn't get in its way. There is no doubt in my mind that if those cars had not been in the way, my sister and I would not be here today. We would be in a morgue. I heard uh, protesters saying, hey, watch out for that Jeep. It's being a little bit squirrely. Sebastian Sassy was the man driving that white truck. He says the Jeep was somehow able to make its way around a different barrier of vehicles and continue to accelerate toward the protesters. And he was going to maim people and probably kill people if uh, if I didn't do something. So I made a split second decision to try to slow him down. And I did. Sebastian says the crash broke the tire rod ends of his truck, damaged a wheel and dented a door, a fender and the bumper. He says it's now with Aurora police as part of their investigation. He saved lives, period. He absolutely saved lives. Sebastian won't accept the title of hero, though. He, Carrie, and Julie all agree, as scary as the situation was, focus should remain on the reason they were protesting in the first place. It's not about his truck. It's not, not about him. You know, a lot, it, this is about Elijah McClain, and that's why we're all out here. I'm deeply concerned about why we're not focusing more on the social justice impacts of this. Why are we not focusing more on what happened to Elijah McClain's family? Jordan Chavez, 9 News. Carrie and Julie say that they have filed statements with the Aurora Police Department and will also do so with the district attorney's office. They say they have shared that video with us in hopes that it helps provide a clearer picture of what they saw happen yesterday.